Hi everyone, my name is Marcos. I'm the marketing manager at Laguna Tools, and today we're here at West Coast Exhibits. So let's get straight to it. Who are you and what is West Coast Exhibits? So I'm Michael Taylor. I've owned West Coast Exhibits for almost 30 years. I started in 2004 and, uh, and I've been living in Anaheim my whole life. Nice. So talk about the early days of West Coast. What did that look like? And how, within that process of when you guys then added Laguna routers to your guys' um, production, how did that change? How did everything transcend from there? Well, the early days, it was really tough because we had um, limited resources, limited labor, and limited skill. Mm -hmm. That was the biggest issue. But with the evolution of, uh, with bringing in um, Laguna, it, was, it would help accelerate. So that we didn't have to increase our labor force. Mm -hmm. We just had to increase our uh, assembly force. Assembly force was, and then we were able to produce more product faster to get to the show floor quicker. Nice, nice. You have a busy uh, work floor down there. Yeah. What does growth and expansion look like for you guys? Growth and expansion is going to be coming quick. Mm -hmm. I think that uh, in the next 24 to 36 months, mm -hmm. I'm going to be looking to expand at least double or maybe double plus 10. Congrats. Something like 60, 65,000 in the city of Anaheim. I'm going to definitely stay in the city. And with expansion comes automation. Yes. My next big expansion is going to be heavy automation. Nice. Heavy automation meaning with laser machines and definitely some digital printing machines mm -hmm. and, and, and more, uh, uh, more safety for the guys. Nice. Can't wait to see what role Laguna plays in that avenue for you. Absolutely. Now, you know, how did you kind of guide your, your workers through that, through that process of kind of bringing, okay, we're going to bring a, a router, a CNC router in house fine-tuning that process of you know taking your team and introducing them to this new technology and automation how did that work out well it wasn't really my decision it was the labor decision okay they're the ones that brought the technology to me they're the ones that say hey these is this is the stuff that we need to do nice. to accelerate production because they knew production was demand yes demand means more profit profit means more growth and they're the ones that so we really key in on quality individuals quality labor and very and people that understand what we're trying to accomplish. Awesome. So Mike kind of talked about the process. Is that something that you could give us a better walkthrough on? Yeah. So I'm the lead designer here at West Coast. And typically after a project is vetted, we will bring it over to you know a Zoom interview talk to them, what are their needs, concerns, what are they trying to showcase, right. branding, how many shows are they bringing this to. Nice, so yeah. how does that, what, is the, what is the typical timeline between when a customer comes in, contacts you guys as account manager, and then that timeline between that, how long does it usually take for you guys to kind of present something that is concept and they can kind of see it? It's typically like conceptual rendering process it can take about a week or maybe two if it's a massive project. Um, along with any changes or iterations uh, based on the client's feedback. And from there, uh, after it's estimated and we make drawings to send it to actually be built and produced, that whole process I'd say takes about a month. So in that process, I mean, sometimes life happens and there's, our, there's some changes and adjustments. How do you guys go about that um, after you guys present the, uh, the concept idea and they approve it, how lenient are you guys on, on making changes after that? It really depends on when their show is. Mm -hmm. So we try to ship things to what's called advance, where the instead of waiting for the show to create it in, we have everything in there in advance so we can set up in advance. Mm -hmm. Now, if we're making last minute changes, it can you know, cause a problem. You know, also, can we get the materials in time? Mm -hmm. But we've had stuff before where we have made a change after the product's already shipped. We build it here, we rush ship it out, and then we get it to the show floor before the show starts. Oh my gosh, I'm yeah. pretty sure that has to be stressful. Oh yeah. But making it happen, that's, 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 that's key. So that's we do key. it West Coast. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. As far as the material that you are seeing um, go in and on and off our Laguna routers, can you, can you talk about that? What is a typical, material that goes in these um, in these exhibits? So 
you know, 10, 15 years ago when I first bought my first, I think I bought my first router in 10 years ago. Mm-hmm. We would see primarily um, domestic birch, 4x8, 4x10, 5x, you know, mm-hmm. different sizes. Mm-hmm. But today we're seeing a lot more PVC, plexi. Acrylic. Uh, acrylic, yeah. Mm-hmm. There's a lot more uh, modern, uh, different materials. Mm-hmm. It helps reduce the weight of the exhibit material that's mm-hmm. going into show because everything gets charged per hundred weight. And I'm assuming it also brings more life. It does. It brings more life and it is also a, a substrate that it's easier to apply graphics to. The amount of materials, the wide range of materials that our machines can really cut, it, it never kind of fails to amaze me because it, again, different materials add to the experience in your guys' exhibit. So it's it's cool that our machines are so versatile. Yeah, they are. They're they're very versatile. And and as versatile as they are, also the materials are becoming more yes. versatile. So yes. I was introduced to a, a lightweight uh, birch plywood the other day, mm-hmm. which is half the weight of a standard sheet, mm-hmm. which will revolutionize our industry yeah. because it'll make everything lighter Mm-hmm. and easier for the customer to accept mm-hmm. the material handling which is going into the yeah. show. Now, you talk about you're looking to add more growth. How, how will Laguna play a factor in, in potentially being these machines that you bring on? Well, Laguna, Laguna is always gonna be something that I'm gonna implement in the growth of West Coast exhibits, especially because of the dependability. Mm-hmm. My dependability, I mean, my first machine, I think I've ran that thing nonstop, eight to 10, 12 hours a day for the last eight years. I don't think it's ever broken down. Incredible. We change the blades, we mm-hmm. update maybe a track or two, mm-hmm. but over the other than that, it's a workhorse. Right. And for me, I mean, it's it's probably taken three guys out of the equation wow. for cutting and uh, pattern making mm-hmm. and uh, not so much the assembly because the assembly is by a different team, mm-hmm. but the, the direct impact of a dependable machine like that is mm-hmm. definitely something that I'm always thinking about. So you say, I've, and I saw it already, the, the SmartShop 2 that you have, that one's close to 10 years. Is it really? Yes, it is. It, <sighs> the, the, white, the white color on that one is, is how we tell right away, but mm. you've recently added the SUV. In terms of what you might be adding in the future, um, could you kind of shed light on that? Well, we're definitely going to move into the metal department. We're going awesome. to definitely move towards uh, because we have such a demand on custom metal obligate, you know, custom parts, mm-hmm. yeah, and that that's definitely going to be so. That's going to be definitely with the growth of the company, the expansion of the company, definitely that direction. Plus, also three D printing. Right. Yeah, three D printing is definitely going to be something in the future. Yes, well, especially for us at West Coast mm-hmm. because we're so innovative. We want to be innovative. We want to do things that change the directory of our industry. Nice. You nice. Know? And we can do that with yeah. Laguna. Of course. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs>